So that poll I made about doing a voiceover for the speed paint was an overwhelming yes. So here we go. I've never done this kind of thing before, but I thought it would be fun and kind of useful for the speed paint in particular to explain some of the design choices I make here. So basically, I'm doing a bit of a redraw from something I did in 2020. A light beauty redesign, sort of. That drawing I did back then, I never really liked how it turned out, design-wise mostly. I mean, obviously now the art is pretty old, but yeah. I was mostly focusing on the drawing itself at the time instead of the design, because I was drawing it mostly for stress relief in between uni work. I also didn't notice that the speed paint of it has gained a bit of attention, especially after that How to Train Your Dragon 3 video essay I made. So I wanted to redo it. Since I made that Light Fury redesign, I've changed my, I guess you could say, headcanon on How to Train Your Dragon 3. I originally liked the idea of a subspecies because it offered up some unique abilities and designs, but in the end, I've decided to throw the idea of the Light Fury, or any Night Fury subspecies in general, out the window. A few reasons for that. Number one, everyone wanted to see more Night Furies. I wanted to, definitely. So it felt kind of annoying to instead just have this subspecies thrown at us. Yes, I could have the subspecies and more Night Furies as well, which I'm going to have more Night Furies in this headcanon anyway, but in comes my second reason there. Looking back at the first, second, and even third movie, there were no other subspecies for any other type of dragon. So as if the Light Fury wasn't already out of place enough in the third movie, the idea of a subspecies also just seems to have come out of left field. So I've swapped out the Light Fury for an albino Night Fury. I've decided to do this simply because the black and white contrasts well and it looks nice. I am not immune to that aesthetic at all. The other thing I thought was expanding properly on the concept that How to Train Your Dragon 3 only vaguely hinted at, which was making the Light Fury abused by trappers, which would explain her overly skittish nature. So I just kind of went into that more for this, hence why I've given her some significant scars, such as the Tornia. They don't have a lot of thought behind them, as in I don't have any concrete reason for how she got each one, and the one on her shoulder ended up looking a little more like an electric scar. I mean, I don't know, maybe she fought a Skrill at one point. Would have been nice to see some of those or any of the other dragons like Change Wings and stuff in the movies instead of the generic and plasticky designs we got. But anyways. Now more onto the headcanon stuff. Before I continue, I don't have a super in-depth headcanon for this movie. I'm not that invested in the whole thing, but I do have some vague ideas. For starters, I obviously wouldn't have the dragons and humans separating or Hiccup and Toothless or any of that. Second, I'd also reveal a bunch of other Night Furies, so basically also I'd get rid of the whole Grimal made Night Furies extinct shenanigary. I'd also get some baby Night Furies to make an appearance because everybody wants to see that. They just wouldn't be toothlesses, and in saying that, I feel like it'd be cool if we just did away with the romance thing as a whole and just had this albino Night Fury and Toothless be friends or have a sibling-like dynamic. I don't think the third movie really needs Toothless to have a romantic interest. As for a villain, I think I'd either get rid of Grimmel as a whole or tone down his involvement greatly, where it was just the general idea of trappers or people hunting dragons, probably specifically Night Furies for sport. I have two ideas for it. Idea one is no focus on the villain at all besides the general trappers, and the main thing to overcome in this would be teaching this albino Night Fury that not all humans are out to hurt her, plus also the appearance of other Night Furies, of course. Idea two is that there is more focus on a single trapper, like Grimmel, for example, and this old Bino Night Fury belongs to them. So it's like the first idea, but mixed with the struggle that this Night Fury is against her own species, and it'd be about kind of helping her realize that Grimmel, or whoever this trapper is, is really just using her and is, you know, abusive. So you'd also get this thing where they find this albino Night Fury, another Night Fury basically, only for it to probably then attack them and they find out its rider is someone who hunts Night Furies for sport. So you just have this albino Night Fury become friends with Toothless, so enemies to friends dynamic, and eventually betray their trapper or Grimmel, whoever, aka give them what they deserve and the albino Night Fury finally gets some catharsis. I don't know what I'd name this albino Night Fury, maybe something with ghost in the name because I'm super original, but when birds outside making a big ruckus. But when Grimmel is eventually dealt with, I imagine she never gets a new rider and maybe gets a new name. Perhaps one she doesn't respond to, but the Burkeans just call her by that. That kind of deal. 
I think all of that then would tie nicely along with the theme of grief and trauma on Hiccup's end as well, with the fact that Toothless literally killed his dad. They didn't explore that much at all besides Velka just saying it wasn't his fault. It would have been nice to see more of an exploration with how it affected Toothless and Hiccup's dynamic, and then how Hiccup was dealing, or not dealing, with the death of his father. Like for instance him working to an unhealthy degree to ignore the whole thing. Other random things I'd change is getting rid of the hidden world as a whole. Someone mentioned this on the How to Train Dragon 3 video essay and I thought it was a good point. The dragons over time kind of lost their more grounded, <laughs> excuse the pun, feel and were becoming way more magical like in nature. Like for instance there was this concept in How to Train Your Dragon 1 for a specific amount of shots a dragon can have and you had the Gronkle for instance eating rocks and stuff uh, for the firepower. It gave it a sense of realism in a way, it had the sort of gritty style, but once you get to the second movie that concept is completely forgotten about. You could even argue it's almost forgotten about by the end of the first movie because Toothless... How many shots does a Night Fury have? It doesn't really talk about that. The Hidden World concept felt very otherworldly and magical. I don't think it really fits. It also implies all dragons are just friends by default, which is weird, because in the first film they are very much shown to be more like animals. Also apparently there's some dragons that actually prey on other dragons, so yeah, I can't see them all getting along. <laughs> I'd also get rid of Alpha Mode Toothless, of course, you'd know this if you watched my video essay, and I'd probably do a thing where at the end of How to Train Your Dragon 2, Hiccup just puts it up to vote for who's chief and everyone chooses Astrid, maybe, because she's way more suited for the role and I saw someone else mention it, I thought it was a great idea. Oh, and Hiccup and Astrid being a thing? Uh, I wouldn't let that happen in How to Train Your Dragon 1, at least. That always bothered me with how fast it happened, like it's honestly really funny. Astrid straight up hated Hiccup, and then Hiccup took her for a ride with Toothless, and she was suddenly like, oh I love you now, even though she showed zero sign of that before. They just had to give Hiccup the girl. I really don't like that kind of thing, it's very annoying. Anywho, those are my uh, ideas. Hope you enjoyed and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, or whatever there is left of it. Oh, and if you like this style of speed paint video where I talk about things, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll do more in the future, if it suits it. But yeah, that's it. Um, see you guys in the next one.